I'm going to begin another descent into the role. So I can be a doctor, I can be, so I can be a physician. This is a person that attended to the previous unfortunate victim. Or I can be a bright young thing endowed with, from birth with wealth and talent. A life of ease, comfort and delight stretches ahead like an amber carpet. Or you can be a detective. I've already played that previously, so I think I want to play the bright young thing. I miss the dawn. I generally do. There will be plenty more. So what do I do? Well, I can take this card, which is one dabbles with writing and one dabbles with painting, but one lives, above all, in the certainty of one's allowance. So that will be my day job. Possibly I'll get something done today. So time progresses. Time counts down. And uh, in the meantime, I have nothing else going on. A golden day of occasional work. It's all going swimmingly. Although Papa's help is not improving, Explore has been unlocked. So I collect the cards now. Now because I worked with this and that, I got some funds. Wonderful, I got some funds. So let's do more this and that. And meanwhile, Explore is happening. Some ripping sorts are introducing me to some ripping sorts of places. My, those ripping sorts are certainly ripping type people ripping stuff. If I ever have trouble deciding how to spend my money, the good people at these spots can certainly be of assistance. We have Orflam's Auction House. Orflam specializes in curios, perfumes, taxidermy, specimens, and rare texts. It operates from cramped new premises now since the destruction of the old by a mysterious fire. And there's the ex ex I don't know, it's a club. It's a cabaret with an occult reputation. So actually, let's take the auction house. We perch in alarming reet chairs in a windowless auction room with vividly burnt orange walls. Waiting for the auctioneer to announce what he's offering. The reek of new paint makes the brain spin. So I start, and what'll happen is after a few seconds... Uh, there's nothing you, There's nothing up there you can see in that corner, trust me. A crowd of pinched faces, glinting eyes, who will bid? So the item is Travelling at Night, Volume 1. The Annotated Dream Journals of Christa Ilopoli sometimes crawled the only readable occultist. Literate, entertaining, bewildering. Well, I shall surely have to bid on this. I've raised my hand. The auctioneer wraps out an acknowledgement. Will anyone match me? Okay, so now what's popped up is this verb, and this verb is going to take my funds. And you've got to keep that funds fed. Otherwise, bad things befall you. It's a game of life and death and madness and dread. The auctioneer makes a note of my name and signals one of the attendants. I have my prize. Well, that will be a fascinating read when I get time. Let's go exploring using my health. It means I wander the city streets. I found vi glimmering. Visions pass me with pavance, pavane grace. A window over wood, a garden of ice, a shivering sun, a woman of glass. I will return home reluctantly. Uh, I guess I'll explore that again. <laughs> okay, what's going on now? So now I popped up a new verb. This is study. And I will use the study verb to uh, read the book. But right now I'm just going to rearrange these into my usual configuration. The business of the will has been settled. But Papa's business affairs have been eaten up with debts like woodworm. No one seems to know exactly what he spent money on, but the solicitor is sending me some papers, apparently. So, that's unfortunate. I've lost my allowance. I've lost my this and that. I have a big pile of funds. And so all that's left is manual labor. Back making work for meager pay. Is this the best I can do? Well, yes, I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so now this has popped out. I've received the papers. Poor papa, page after page of desperate scrawl. On an invisible house in the colours of sleep in the invisible gods behind the world. But do you know, the more I read, the more it, well, not makes sense. It doesn't make sense. 
but it does hang together. And here is Papa's diary. A ciphered diary. Well, let's go and study that diary. Papa's diary? It's a catalogue of obsessions. But perhaps it will make some sort of sense of recent events. The name of J.N. Sinombra appears again and again in these pages. They were a locus of impossibility, a font for the future, one who has cut the eye. And on the last page, there is a correspondence address and a name. So I pick up reason and a secret. So reason is a stat that you can use to do things. Meanwhile, I'm going to contact the individual named in this troubling document. I have little reason to believe that they will be able to enlighten me on the nature of what went before, but perhaps they can help me with what's to come. Now, speaking of which, we should come up with a name for the individual, so why doesn't chat decide on the name of this character, please? So the red secret is some words are spelled correctly only when the proper ink is used. So this verb that's just popped up is dream. So this is what you can use for invoking things. Uh, yeah, a dream of a shivering light, a sun that crisps the snow but does not melt. If I, when I wake, my room is always cold. So I have a chilly atmosphere, I have passion, but I have dread and dread will get consumed into this unless I do something with it. Now I have contentment, so what I can do is I can dream on dread and contentment at the same time and that will clear the, the contentment will cancel out my dread if you have too much dread you will kill yourself through despair and that'll take so i've got two glimmerings as soon as this finishes what i'm gonna do is improve my i'm gonna improve my passion by dropping two glimmerings in here the tigers of wrath are wiser than the horses of instruction if i spend time studying what i've learned i could increase my passion and gain a skill Meanwhile, my new acquaintance speaks authoritatively of Papa. He knew he was dying. He had hoped to taste unknown pleasures before his end. Pleasures denied to healthy society. My new acquaintance suggests that I might finish what he began. That if I do so, I might save myself from despair, which haunts my family. So I've met someone called Poppy Lascelles. Uh, I'm not going to talk to Poppy just yet because... Once you talk to her, she basically gives you five minutes to find a sacrificial victim. So I want to recruit someone so I can sacrifice them. <laughs> or or they could, you know, find somebody to sacrifice or whatever. So I'm not going to do that just yet. And what is this book? It is The Burning of the Unburnt God, compiled by J. Wigglesworth. That's a made-up name. J. Wigglesworth Jensen. From oral traditions in rural Persia. Sure. It's hard to grow a cult if you sacrifice your members. That's absolutely true. What you can do is I can talk publicly about the secret I have learned. The invisible arts. Remember, the red secret is that some words are spelt correctly only when the proper ink is used. So this is the, the, the cup, the grail. And so by talking about this... I may attract a follower, but I will need either passion or reason to convince them. So I may need to make sure that those are available. And this verb that has appeared is that I am attracting the wrong kind of attention. It might awaken the interests of the curious, the puritanical, or the vengeful. Now, what's interesting about this is the card slot has popped up and the card is empty, but there's this little magnet symbol. What that means is it's looking for... A card which corresponds to evidence that I've been up to no good and it will automatically suck it in there I can't replace it so you have to make sure you don't have the card available okay good news is I have an acquaintance I've acquired a hanger-on that's far from ideal but I have also got the red secret back after talking about it so I can throw this into my dream and that might help okay and uh, the other thing I've acquired is mystique. So if you talk publicly about your weird alien, uh, you know, dreams or whatever, then investigators can start to find mystique. Mystique may attract the attention of hunters. 
Now I can slough off my flesh, patch by patch, tugging the tendons free like fibres picked from teeth. My skin lies like a shredded blanket. The sun heaves itself above the horizon with a triumphant battle yell. The light falls like acid on my naked bones. Pain wakes me. My bones will throb for days. Okay, so he has asked me for a, a commission on secret histories. Dr. Idin Al-Adim, called the Alpine, has offered you a commission. He's looking for a substantial treatise on the secret histories of the world. The power of the wood enjoys the separation of the lock from the scalp. For attention, burn it. For opportunity, bury this. Speak this over a corpse. In a rite with a winter influence present, and the corpse will rise. Oh, oh, oh we have now, because of the mystique surrounding us... Zachary Wakefield, a melancholy but remorseless inspector of police. He has recently been seconded to the Suppression Bureau. It takes time to sort the gold from the dross, the wheat from the chaff, the blood from the water. If I buy enough books, I'll find something interesting. Yes, you can. You can actually kill the wet inspector. You can also drive the inspector mad. Okay, did I get... I found Neville! Neville is an acquaintance. Okay, Neville, I think it's time to talk about this cult. Now, the question is, do we want to be a cult of the moth or the the grail? Which do you think is the, the best option here? Does anyone have any opinion? We should be the cult of the grail. Okay, let's talk to Neville. Here's someone I might work with. A companion, a follower. But first I must give them something to follow. A society, a sodality, an order. A cult. I've begun my true work. The authorities will take an interest in it. I must be ready for them. You have begun to establish your cult. It will need more before you can recruit followers. So I now have notoriety, which will be, of course, Inspector Wearfield will go after. So now, tradition and compulsion. I choose the founding principles so I can add lore. And you said the Grail? An occult society dedicated to the mysteries of birth, blood, and appetite. Okay, the other event chain I can start working on is the, the work. So I can use my reason in this slot and start getting skills in, uh, you know. Sometimes I have dreamt of a tall woman in a sand-coloured coat who stands at the foot of my bed, smiling as she watches me sleep. In that dream, she turns her head with the swiftness of a bird, and her fingers flesh flex like talons. I do not think I dreamt of her last night. If I had, I could not have slept so soundly. Glover and Glover have offered me a junior position. I start at 8 sharp tomorrow morning. So, now we get a job card. The job card decays... And if you don't attend this job, you might suffer a demotion. You can get fired. And it turns out that the way to get really promoted in this game is to find followers who will perform nefarious acts. And they can dispatch one of the Glovers. Oh, wow! I've discovered the right of the Crucible Soul. Jensen ultimately concludes with the apparent reluctance that the deity was a goddess. He suggests that its gender may have been the cause of its suppression. The rites described are often eerie, sometimes grisly. And I found the Ardent Orison, which is a level 4 forge. Uh, forge capability, forge uh, aspect or whatever. When we watch a fire, what are we wa wait. When we watch a fire, what are we watching for? When we find it, these are the words it will speak. A word that sanctifies the change that comes when the seared skin peels. There we go. A cult with one member is only an unusual habit. I must have a recruit. There we go. Neville, you want to work for me? Okay, what do we get? Ah, we found the way of the wood. The road ducks into the trees. Pale wings move deep in the wood. I am stumbling over roots. Now it is tempting to drop to all fours to avoid the low branches. The moon passes behind the black leaves. 
though her fingers remain in my hair, I will not forget the way to this place. And I also got a, a buzzing in the brain. This is uh, used for promoting people with the moth. I gotta try and make money. Meanwhile over here, I will apply extra effort. Scratching of the pens, the sourness of dust, the sigh, sighing of my young of the younger Glover, the greedy, greedy girdling of the elder. Oh, and this thing, the Grail's whispers, hungers roam my body, hungers for the pleasures that the invisible arts might bring. Uh oh, that doesn't sound uh, so good. I have founded my cult. This is a step to greater power. Ooh. Collect all. So I now have the Order of the Bloody Cup is being inspected by Inspector Wakefield. Neville is now a believer. Uh, so I think I can actually use... Uh, sorry, what I'm going to do now is induct this hanger-on into the cult. So I drop the Order of the Bloody Cult in. I put a hanger-on in here. The Red Secret. And so now I will induct him and they will become... A pawn. Mr. Alden, the supervisor of records, has called me into his office to recognize my diligence. I watch the mole on his neck as he talks and talks and talks. But at the end of it, I have a promotion. My new position is better paid and the desk stands by the street window. But I work directly for Mr. Alden now. Mr. Alden is known to be exacting. So I get funds, but I get a better job. I am better paid than I was, never. But Mr. Alden has taken an interest in me. Mr. Alden is very particular. Mr. Alden likes things done just so, and Mr. Alden has never believed that I'm qualified for this position. So what'll happen is after 60 seconds, it'll ask me for reason, and I need to have the reason available. Let's talk to Poppy Lascelles. My dear, I've been waiting to talk to you. Sometimes I fund scholars of the invisible hearts. I'd love to offer, I'd like to offer you my support, a substantial contribution, and all you need to do someday is to introduce me to somebody else who will end matters properly. She smiles benignly. Add passion to accept or reason to interrogate her further. further. I think I'm going to accept. That's exactly right. I'll come back tonight. What do you think she means by end things properly, huh? Okay, so now I have 30 seconds. I do not believe you have properly understood the importance of our work here. The work is complete when I've assessed the work is complete and not before. I trust we understand each other. Why, yes, Mr. Alden, sir. Why, of course, sir. Why, yes, of course. Our work is done when you say it's done, sir. To in the season of rags, Poppy will return. So what has she given me? She's given me silver spintria and some fun. So silver spintria is like the currency of the underworld. Initiates of the hidden world use spintria to pay for services. They can easily be sold for more traditional funds. On this occasion, I've determined that your worth at work is of an acceptable standard. You may go. Be punctual tomorrow. Saying, ah! Now I have entered the realm of the dreams. We have the Worm Museum, the Peacock Door, the Tricuspid great Gate, the Chamber of Ways, the Mallory, the Spider Door, the Red Church, the Stag Door, the Mansus, the Ascent of Knives, the White Door, the Painted River, the Orchard of Lights, the Lodge of the Sage Knight, and the Wood. Now do I want to explore with a, a rumour? Or shall I look at one of these other options? I think I'm going to enter the temple of the wheel. Well, that's not useful to me. Last night I came in the woods to the high jagged rock called the temple of the wheel. Its flank patched with black lichen and eye signs opened like a mouth beneath my hands and I walked in the whispering space within. The gods who were stoned the first of the hours are almost all gone now, but here their voices remain. Wheel, flint, tide, the others without names. Oh, the skeleton songs. The, oh, yes. Yeah. Poems of greedy delight 
composed by the possibly pseudonymous Arabella Dusk, the rumoured heiress turned madam turned priestess. Well, that's fascinating. I've now found Count Jannings, who I think is... Count Godlob Jannings represents a continental fraternity of physicians and duelists. He could use your assistance. What is Neville's skill? So Neville is experienced with the lock. That may not help me with, with Mr. Alden. I need someone, I think, with moth. Ah, I found an occult scrap. Ah, yes. This is all... I walked through the woods last night and the scissors worked in the distance and furred things crammed my mouth and swarmed my ears. I felt the old urge to drop to all four wolf fours and nose among the roots. But I remembered that I walk upright by day and I know fire and steel and words. And at last I found where the velvet had concealed a secret on tree bark beneath moss. I read it then with the tips of my fingers and I think now that I could write it in full. So I've learned a scrap of occult history. So this is a uh, like lore knowledge, and it's kind of different from the other knowledge. See, so these are knowledge. Uh, these are lore, right? The barbers and the ardent and all that. These have specific aspects. This is kind of like general knowledge. But this is what this guy wants to know about. I think uh, secret histories is what he wants. But this is level two, and I need level four. Yes, uh, I found another acquaintance, Pope. Chifton, a bellowing and unorthodox Catholic with a mystic streak and an untrimmed beard. You might be able to recruit this acquaintance as a follower. So, besides, Poppy is now saying, This is the time, my dear. The sun in rags requires his conclusion. Will it be you? Or do you have a friend? Oh, what a loyal friend you have here. Do say goodbye now. My follower is gone. I remain. Poppy Lascelles is seen here and there. She may have more to say to me. She has left behind a chilly atmosphere which can be used if your cult is based around the white. I am, Poppy says with a girlish giggle, curious about, oh, you know, the arts of blood and ice. It's silly, but allow an old woman her whims. Will you help me? Boy, should I help her? I mean, she just murdered one of my friends. Sorry, sacrificed for the good of everyone. I've learned a red secret. Now, I, what I can do with these two is I can combine them to make a higher level secret, which will be good because I need that. But right now, I'm going to throw this in here to get my glimmering to give me more passion. I can see the chat has really slowed down. This is clearly not the kind of things you guys are interested in. You're trying to wrap your head around the game. So part of the game, right, here's the thing. Part of the game is trying to figure out the rules. And the fact that I sound like I know I'm playing it is because I've actually played it quite a bit. And so I have a clue as to what's really going on here. And so what I'm trying to do is climb the Mansus by dreaming on this. And it will dream with, with different options here. So I think the thunderous secret, I guess, is the next thing I can dream with. There's something, I can't remember which one it is, but that pushes you up to the next step. This rite uses an instrument of power to set the blood afire. Fire is lesion in the skin of the world. The assistant rarely survives unharmed. You basically have to sacrifice an, uh, you know, a cult member to get things. I've been able to summon demons, which I've used in raids. And then I went mad because I was, you know, dealing with demons too often. Okay, let's see what we get. A buzzing in the brain, not useful to me. Let's go to the well. Oh, vitality. Again, not that useful, oddly enough, because I've already got plenty of it. The well in the wood is sacred to the grail. The hour that hungers into the velvet. The hour that guards secrets. Tonight as I approach... It heaved with the velvet's moss, struggling waves of deep and vibrant green pushing against and again from its throat. It surged around my calves, rose to my thighs, and again this morning I still feel the velvet's breath strong within me. Who's this? 
This is a fortune teller who's skilled in the lantern. Uh, someone who I might pay to enact irregrettable necessities. Sure, I'm going to try this person. Right? She will be the one to deal with Mr. Alden. I do not believe you understand the importance of what we're doing here. I don't give a crap about what we're doing here. I want money to buy my books. So, I'm going to send my fortune teller uh, start to deal with Mr. Alden. I want this in, but my minion's abilities are limit. This might well fail and it will draw attention. That's okay. The minion has returned. The annoyance is no longer capable of lucid speech, let alone in the capable of annoying me further. There, Mr. Alden has been dealt with. And I also have my, uh, my work done so I can talk to him with the commission and the work and he will give me stuff in response and I have driven this person mad so what happens the office crackles with the news of Alden's unexpected absence a scrawny nervous fellow from the fourth floor has been appointed supervisor of records temporary unlike Alden he does not interfere with my work <laughs> 